Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Saturday and I have just came back from my walk. Um, sometimes in the morning I like to go for a morning walk when I have the time to. Um, but like in the past couple of days and months, you know, sometimes I don't have the time to walk because I have other things to do in the morning. So I don't have the energy to get up early to do it. So I try to go for an early morning walk when I have the chance because I feel like my body needs that. And I feel like sometimes like when uh, ugh, I hate when that happens, my damn thing, um, I feel like sometimes like your body gets tense and like your muscles need like you know i don't know they need that like that morning walk to like you know you know relieve tension tension you know what i'm saying but um every now and then i like to go for a morning walk because i feel like it just rejuvenates me you know makes me feel better it helps to relieve stress and I notice, like, if I get up in the morning feeling groggy sometimes, like, I'll have to get up. I know that I have to get up and, you know, go work my muscles, you know, you know, get that, you know, sprinting. Um, but, oof, man, it's been, like, a lot going on. Like, it's been, like, so much going on. Like, I'm trying to keep up. Like, that's, like, the one thing about me. Like, I try my... Who the hell is that arguing? Oh, nobody's arguing, but somebody's talking really loud outside of my window. But, um, it's been so much going on, like, and I'm trying to keep up. And that's why it's so hard. To, it's so hard for me to focus on, like, one little thing and, you know, try to finish that task. But I be having so much going on. And not, you know, actually having a lot going on, but, like, in my brain, in my head, I have a lot going on. I feel like, okay, this is something that I need to do, and I try to stay on top of things. You know, I try to stay on top of things because I know that life is about, you know, um, life is about, you know, moving forward and reinventing yourself and learning new things. What's up, y'all? I'm back. And I want to discuss something because, you know, it took me a while. It took me quite a while to really accumulate certain things in my life. Um, and at that point, at that point before, you know, certain things happened in my life, you know, I felt like things were, weren't going to get any better. And I felt really sad about certain things. But as the years went on, you know, um, things were just going in my favor. And um, I feel so much better about my place in life because sometimes people think that when they're when they're feeling down and out and they're, feel, and they're feeling like you know life just not gonna get no better for me you know that's when you know your blessings start to come through because um your pain pain isn't permanent and it might seem like the end of the world when it comes down to certain things but you know you have to really trust in the process of you know just staying patient you know and one thing I have realized is that you cannot rush greatness you can't rush it because it takes time to really um it takes time to be disciplined and it takes time to really, you know, to really be good at, you know, certain skills. 
and a lot of times in my life I feel like there's a lot of times like you know what's taking it so long when am I going to get this when am I going to get that you know you know not realizing like you know I still have to put in I still have to do my my duties I still have to do my job and that is you know working at working towards those things you know and I feel like I'm just supposed to have it all now and that's not how it's supposed to be you're not supposed to have it all now and I'm only in my late 20s and I feel like I'm supposed to have it all now but you know that's just something that I'm just gonna have to be patient for and I just hope to God pray to God that one of these days I'm going to see, you know, my hard work pay off and whatever that is, you know. And it's so hard to, like, you know, really keep, um, to really keep, like, you know, a positive mindset because it's so easy to, easily to get sucked in by the negativity and by, you know, the opinions of other people. And that's something that, you know, has been a struggle with me is my self-esteem. Um, but I try to work on, you know, I try to work on those things, you know. Um, and I have to realize, I have to remind myself sometimes that I'm not perfect. And that, you know, you're not supposed to be perfect and everything is not supposed to be perfect. But, you know, just, you know, just, just do your part. Um, but, um, when it comes down to, you know, just feeling a certain way, you know, I just, I can't wait, I can't wait for that time where, you know, my hard work will pay off and I'll be in, I'll be in a position and I'll be in a place that I want to be in. So, that's basically it, you know, besides from what I was saying earlier, you know what I'm saying? Because I try to, you know, come on here and speak about things that I'm actually going through, you know. I'm not coming on here just putting up a front because, you know, I can do it. But, you know, this is how I really feel, you know. And... In a way, like, I'm a perfectionist. I, in a way, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. And I haven't always been this way. But, you know, over the years, I have become, like, you know, a perfectionist. Because, as you can see, like, I, I have on eyelashes. And I could never do my eyelashes for some reason. But the other day, I, my mother gave me a pair of eyelashes, a pair of false eyelashes. And I said, you know what? I'm going to actually try to practice on putting on my eyelashes. And I went in the bathroom. I was looking in, looking in the mirror. And I applied the eyelashes. And they came out good the way that they were supposed to be. And I was just so proud of myself. I'm like, damn, like, I really learned how to do eyelashes. So today, I decided to do my eyelashes again. And I applied them the way that they were supposed to be applied. So... You know, that's, you know, things like that. It's like things like that that's make, that makes me happy, you know. The small victories, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, if, you, if you're not out there accomplishing nothing, if you're not out there, you know, trying to achieve your goals, you know, putting towards work, you know, towards, you know, towards that and stuff like that, you know, you're going to always feel like shit because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, you're basically, you know, lollygagging around, you know, you know, just minding everybody else's business, but yours, and I'm guilty of that, trust me, but, um, you know, greatness takes time, so just, you know, keep pushing forward, keep working at whatever you're working at, and, you know, only time will tell, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get up off of this because um, I got something to do. But I will talk to you guys later.